Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's about 6.50 in the morning here and um, I have my urine saved to take another of the easy at home pregnancy test today at 9 DPO. My temperature for this morning was 98.7. So just one tiny bit below yesterday, still around the same for my baseline. So I'm gonna keep tracking the, definitely keep tracking the temperature. And let's just go ahead and dip this test. I thought I saw a little something yesterday when the test completely dried, but I'm not sure. I haven't looked at it anymore. So we'll take a look at how the test looked from seven and eight DPO again, while this test develops for nine DPO. And We'll just see what happens. No other symptoms to report. I felt yesterday after dinner, I thought I felt a little bit nauseous, but nothing major, nothing major to report. Uh, I just feel normal. So that is going through. Let's let that sit for a full five minutes. It's 6.51 right now. So let's come back at about 6.56 and see if this has finished developed by now. And let's see if we see anything. So let me put it to the side. And then here are the tests that I have taken so far. So the one on the top is 7 DPO. Yesterday's test I took on camera with you guys, 8 DPO. Felt like I saw something very, very faint, like maybe the slightest hint of something on this test still kind of do when I look at it I kind of see like a shadow line but it's very hard to see on the camera so I'm hoping that today's 90 PO test is a little bit more clear but that is yesterday's easy at home I just called it a negative because there's no definite line there it didn't dry with like a deep evap either but I do kind of sort of still see what I saw from yesterday just not a whole lot. It's not very convincing. And then I definitely don't see anything on 70 PO. So I don't know. We will see what today's test shows. If it shows any little hint of something. All right, so it's time to go ahead and look. Just going to take a peek at the test and make sure it is not still going through since these take a while to go through. That does look like it has went all the way through. There's no pink going across anymore. So let's try to look at this. I'm not seeing anything at all from the camera. Let me take a closer look. Yeah, I can't say I'm seeing much on this test. Maybe the same type of little shadow that I saw on yesterday's. Definitely nothing darker and nothing that's really standing out as a definite line. I am going to let it dry a little bit like I did yesterday. Take a couple pictures and put them at the end of the video. So I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes to start drying out a little. I know you're not supposed to read them after a certain time, but that gives me a better idea because whatever might be there kind of stands out a little more once the test starts drying. But I think this is a negative as well at 9 DPO. I'm pretty sure you guys will agree. So we'll just be back again tomorrow for 10 DPO and 
see if we see anything on tomorrow's test. Just continue testing. So thanks for watching this video and joining me today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully we'll be able to see something on tomorrow's test for sure. Or at least the start of something. Since it would have been um, a full two days later after my first test. Or after the ADPO.